Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with some 2020 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition 12 box, a full case, pick your team number 11. Now remember, no paper based ships, everything else does. The only paper that does ship will be uh, Jason Dominguez, Yankees. It'll be Robert Pawson, Oakland A's, and it'll be Bobby Witt Jr. right here. Those are the only three papers that will ship. Big thanks to, let's actually make that Nick Cam a little bit bigger so you can see him ripping open the packs right there. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it here in 12 box hobby number 11. Now there are some people that won teams right there. Tom with the Dodgers, Zap with the Mets, Ryan D with the Yankees, Ryan S with the A's. So there's everybody right there. Thank you everyone for getting in. Ed. Edward Hu with the uh, Brewers, last spot mojo. So thanks to him as well. Thanks, everybody. So hobby, one autograph card per box on average. All right, here we go. Good luck. No, I'm still watching tennis. You see it's it's clay court tennis in like Spain. And it's not even like a major or anything like that. I don't know. I want something different, I guess. But yeah, what about? Do we have to pay for the main event? Yeah. Uh, didn't they give it to us for free last week? No, uh, it wasn't like a UFC. Oh, oh, it wasn't like an official. I, I got you. No. This is like a big UFC yeah. number at the one end of, the of it. Ones, yeah. yeah, one of the numbered ones. Joe Rogan's there, so you know it's like. Oh, gotcha! Right, Joe Rogan's there. That means it's a big event. Yeah. Then we go. We got to pay for Joe Rogan. Wait, can we even get? Can we just? Or can we order through here? Uh, you have to order on ESPN Plus and then cast it to your TV. It's and cast kind of it to the TV? Or like have a smart do they, TV? Do they not want to make money? I guess not. <laughs> oh, I guess the, everyone figures they have smart TVs? Yeah, mm -hmm. we used to like be able to just buy it right, like a pay-per-view movie. Yeah. Like, it was like the old Tyson fight. Call, yeah, yeah, call a 1-800 yeah. number and then yeah. all of a sudden it appears on a magic channel that you never heard of. Yeah. Like 1,000 yeah, what? Yeah, it's like next to all the weird channels yeah. and stuff. How much is how much is this fight? Gabe, do you know? Sixty. Sixty bucks? Uh, am I paying sixty dollars for this? She's considered the greatest female fighter of all time. Really? Amanda Nunez, yeah. And then, did she ever fight Gina from The Mandalorian? Probably not. So. Now we'll never know. Did you ever fight Katniss Everdeen? No, because <laughs> she's not. But Katniss couldn't. Katniss needs like weapons. What the, yeah, but what, she could strategize. What's yeah. what's 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 Katniss Everdeen's like? Like hand ground, to hand combat? Yeah. What, what, did she ground and pound? No, I don't think so. No, she's kind of tall. J Law's kind of tall. So, or I mean, Katniss is kind of tall. Yeah. So there there could be. She has reach. I haven't seen her in a movie probably in six years, five years. What is she doing? What is she doing? I don't know. Guess after Hunger Games, her kind of fame faded. I don't know. Just waiting for the next franchise. Why Hollywood is casting? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why Hollywood isn't casting Jennifer Lawrence anymore? Jennifer Lawrence was born in Lexington, Kentucky, and then it's like, the it's like, don't give me the bio at the beginning. Just get to the good stuff. Yeah. Why? Bobby Wood Jr., Royals, Jay Remington. She portrayed Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games, in the Hunger Games yeah, franchise. And was known as America's Sweetheart. But what the happened? Games made, was the most successful film franchise of the 2010s. Generating well over... 1.6... Yeah, billion dollars in global box office sales. 1.6 billion dollars worldwide. But what's J-Law up to now? Social media posts suggest. And then it's like... And then it, they do a little ad... Yeah. <laughs> right. Be sure to follow us and, and subscribe to get all the latest web news. We just have to find a stream for it, I guess. Oh, I mean, we have to pay for it legitimately, I guess. 
That's the only way. That's the only way to view this fight is to purchase it legitimately. I guess I have my iPad. I can just set it up just off camera and just fire up the fight. Pay for it? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Pay for it. Wander Franco. The people who stream it, not the people who watch it, but like actually put it on it. The yeah. World. Like yeah. I don't get what their what their incentive is. Yeah, other than like donations. Like, but does anybody actually donate? Maybe. It's just like a rush for them, or what? There's Corbin Carroll autograph, ten out of fifty, and that goes to Mark Bissett and the Arizona Diamondbacks. For the people who stream it, I think part of it might just be like a like a f the cable company kind of like thing. Yeah. Like they're. White. Yeah. Just F E S P N and that that media machine, you know? We're gonna put it out for free for the people. It's like Napster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this should be free. There's our first Jason Dominguez paper for Ryan D, who got the Yankees in that uh jumbo pack we did, which is in a separate video. Did I upload that video? I hope I did. I did. Ryan, I don't know how to say his last name, Dupuis. Ryan D, as I like to say. Some autos? Be nice. I like the music. It's like a piano with the... Yeah. That's the music in the video game right now. They call my fighter Bazooka. What? My, my UFC career, my nickname is Bazooka. Bazooka? Yeah. Do you get to pick it? Yeah. Bazooka, that's but nice. it's like a... There's like 10 names they can pick. That's the one that made the most sense for me. Right, right, right. Just your your, your big bazooka-like punches? Yeah. Chewing bazooka gum as I walk in the ring. There you go. Sponsored by bazooka. Sponsored by top oh, bazooka. bazooka. All right, we got a few more boxes right here. Good luck, everybody. Set the paper right here. Bobby Witt Jr. Another one for the Royals. Jay Remington with that one. Tonight's card, Riffer saying, has the first DraftKings Millionaire Millionaire Maker contest. Oh, that's what DraftKings was yelling me, yelling at me about this morning. They gave you notification. Yeah, they're like, hey, don't forget. It's like maybe if the if the fight was free and I could watch it, maybe. I'd, oh, I missed it. Maybe I'd check it out. You can't join anymore. I know it's too late. Yeah. Darn it! I can do a ten k to first, but I don't want to do that because then I'll. I'll have the highest score and I could have won a million. Right. Right, right. I'll save it for NASCAR tomorrow. Where's the NASCAR race tomorrow? I don't know, actually. It's called the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. The Quick Trip 500, everyone knows, is the Atlanta Motor Speedway. I think it is. Guess that? Yeah, I just guessed it. Is it really in Atlanta? Well, because the first DraftKings contest is called Peach Tree Drive. And isn't Georgia known oh, yeah. for its peaches? Absolutely. Oh, Gabe says it is in Atlanta. I must have I must have absorbed that information <laughs> somewhere. Know. How do you know that? <laughs> just so confident. Fields of Honor or whatever. It's so like, yeah, there. everyone knows the Quick Trip Fields of Honor 500. Classic.
Yeah, it is too late. It's too late. Oh, uh, it's too late, person. Just pay for the fight, bet on the fight, you make your money back. I know, but we don't have smart, although we have smart TVs out there, actually. Pop on the ESPN Plus app. That's right. Ooh. That, that, that kick to that lady's face was vicious. Plus 475 isn't too wild. For the other person? Yeah. Like, there's some day baseball games that are like that. Sometimes. 275? 475. 475? That's pretty, actually. That's pretty high, actually. For a baseball game, it's high. For a fight, I have no idea what, what fight odds are like. Riffer says, your buddy's a top five USC DraftKings player in the world in terms of average stakes per card. He and his inner circle wager twenty to $60,000 on each card. Can you give us a pick? Well, then, can you give us a pick? There's only 37 people right, watching right now. That's not enough to move the market. And we got Miguel Vargas to 299. Speckle for the Dodgers. That'll be for Tom Kensington and the Dodgers. Maybe some autographs for you, Tom. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. And there's our autograph. Yeah. Philip Clark. Autograph. Blue Jays auto going to Stephen Rudnicki. There you go, Steve. That's their thing? That's like the family business? Yeah, you never heard Michael Buffer? No. Or no? Oh, no, no. I know Michael Buffer, the main guy, right? This is Bruce Buffer. His brother? Yeah. There's Reese Hines to 125. Michael Buffer does like all the big boxing matches. Right, right, right. It's Are like, you ready to yeah. rumble? Yeah. And then when that guy... Sam Huff. In or whatever. To 250. The Mike Tyson fight, he parachuted in. Oh, right, 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 right. And then he got the crack beat out of him, I think. Or something. That was, a, that was a weird moment, that yeah. Was a wild moment. The fight ended, and then someone had parachuted in from the top? He had somehow no, crawled. No, the beginner. I think it was the beginning of the Was it the beginning of the fight? Of the fight? Yeah. Somehow that, that guy got to the ball. top of the arena. Ooh. <laughs> wow. On plate autograph, Thomas Dillard. Brew Crew. We have not hit a Super Fractor, but we've hit a few of these plates. Who's got the Brewers in this one? Wow, Ed, Edward, last spot mojo. Thomas Dillard. That's Riffer in the chat. Tom Edward. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I don't know what kind of prospect he is, but. That's pretty nice. It was mid fight. Sean says it was mid fight. I, I barely. I don't, I've only seen it on YouTube videos. But like the guy had like crawled to the top of the arena or something and went through one of the openings on the roof and jumped in or something like that. James Jarrett Miller, also known as the Fan Man, was an American parachutist. Shackleton. Dead. Hmm. Um. 1993 during the heavyweight title between Riddick Bowe and Evander Holyfield. Still in, oh, yeah. huh? Second minute of the seventh round. Talent pipeline the, atomic. The dome was open? It was like to an one, outdoor fight? Yeah, how did he even get up there? It was an outdoor arena. Yeah. Like, who else was involved? Did, did like, yeah, there someone had to have a plane? And, fans and the fighter security details swarmed around him and began attacking him. He was knocked unconscious during the attack. One security officer reportedly struck Miller 20 times. Wow. Damn. 
and then uh, he was rushed to a nearby hospital as spectators cut his paraglider into pieces for souvenirs. Francisco Lindor papered a four ninety nine. So he what? He parachuted in the ring. Where did he launch? Like, did, did like who? So who else was involved? There must have been like someone who flew him there, right? Well, yeah. I think like, who was his accomplice? Or it was just like one of those tourist ones, and like he went, he went AWOL. Just went AWOL and just be like, I'm jumping out, bye bye. Apparently, he did other stunts too. Oh, that's his thing. He did it to the LA Memorial Coliseum during the Broncos Raiders NFL playoff game. So it's his thing. He did it in a Bolton Wanderers Arsenal fourth round FA Cup football match. In so he just goes around the world and does this? Well, he killed himself. Oh, I see. He can't do it. He can't do it anymore. But he, that was his thing, I guess. I guess the, the thrill was gone for him, I guess. Yeah, it was crazy, though. But, so in when he was alive, that was his thing. He's like, I'm, I'm going to be parachute into major public events guy. That was before you used to. You could even get paid on it. Yeah. It was just like, that's just... That was just his thing. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What was I going to look up? Bruce Buffer, Michael Buffer? Right. We need to know about the Buffers now. Yeah, Bruce Buffer is the UFC guy. Michael Buffer, his brother, does the Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Wow. What if their children just have crappy voices and they're just like, ah, oh, can't go into the family announcing business? Well, once, well, Bruce Buffer is 60 something and Michael Buffer is 75, so. Wow. Do they have children to. So eventually there's going to be an open market for announcing. Maybe we should. Maybe we start. should get in on it? But, no. but who. His line is like copyrighted or whatever, right? Let's get rid of the wrong Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like trademarked. So can he pass it along to somebody? Like yeah, a, it's his trademark. I guess it, will it stay in his family? I don't know how... Can you move trademarks like that? Or you just change it up a little bit. <laughs> Let's get ready to roll. Let's all rumble. Let's all rumble. <laughs> we got some color right here. We got a little bit of color. Maybe some more. I'd like to see some, see some orange in there. Had a plate. Maybe just do the train whistle at these events? I mean, Big Hit Express could apply to group breaks, like the one we're doing now, and the ones you could find on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And it could apply to the big hits that people are delivering in these fights. Maybe that makes sense. What's a synonym for ready? Let's get started to... No. Yeah, let's get started to rumble. Let's get it started in here. That's Black Eyed Peas. Let's get rumble ready! I wonder if they have those bases covered too. They're just like any... They just do every Yeah, song. every like possible yeah. word combination and phrase, they're just like, it's all That's trademark. That's why they have a monopoly. Yeah, they've got a monopoly on Follow the money, Nick. All the money. There's Jason Dominguez, like, the Chrome. Like they hate each other. That's why one does UFC. One <laughs> like there's there's like a sibling rivalry. Yeah. Just a deep rooted sibling rivalry. All right. Nice Dominguez Chrome for Ryan Deep. You do that on pay per view, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Let's f s up. Fox Sports would love that. That's a good Fox Sports sign right there. Yeah, on the prelims, you have the blanket. But... Alan says, uh, oh, a dating site? Let's get ready to tumble. Get into the dating site world. What if we start a dating site for people who love the hobby? There's Robel Garcia, yellow paper to 75. And I like when like you knock it, you knock someone out, and they still do this, like like they have to like yeah 
declare the winner. Like we know. We know. Like we already saw what happened. Daniel Lynch to four ninety nine. Kansas City that goes to Remington. There's Robert Poss and Allen says you're totally in. Yeah, he's. I mean, there, there, there's, there's like specific dating sites for for seemingly every hobby or whatever. So. There's Jorge Mateo to two ninety nine. We've we've got a lot of women that that join our group breaks. A lot of a lot of people getting into the hobby. We got Adam Hall, 202 out of 499 for Raymond and the Orioles. Joe Rogan get his start. What did he, what did he? Fear factor. Fear factor. What did he do before I mean, that? Wasn't his start, I don't think. Yeah. Like what was he doing before that? Was it like in local local news? Oh, stand up stand up maybe. Yeah. Fear and factor was awesome. Fear factor was wild. So they they got him to do fear factor, and then he then he got into he like podcast. podcasting, and I guess had a lot of things to UFC, say. I guess. Yeah. Hundred million dollars from Spotify. All right. Here's another box and another box and another box. All right. Good luck. We're right in the middle of. Uh, a Bowman baseball break, ladies and gentlemen. Drop the schedule in the chat, too. We've got Debbie Garcia, 41 out of 50, gold shimmer for the Yankees. That'll be for Ryan. Ryan D with the Yankees. Dustin May. Nice, 215 out of 499. Refractor, rookie autograph for Tom Kensington and the Dodgers. Nice one, Tom. He was battling some injuries in the spring, but maybe this long layoff, we can actually get involved with the Dodgers if there's any baseball this year. Bobby Witt Paper, Robert Possum Chrome. So the Possum Chrome goes to Ryan S. Ryan Shackleton with the A's. All right, see you, Gabe. Yeah, Dustin May could could use a uh, maybe maybe he'll get some of that that Head and Shoulders money. There's a paper 
Bobby Wood Jr. Sorry, a little a lot of box dust on here. That'll go to Troy Jay Palmer. Remington. What's that? Troy Paul Mall still does this. him and Mahomes. Mahomes does it? Yeah. The the like the best the best uh, offense against Dandruff is head and shoulders. The best a man can get? No, no, no. He was like the best offense for, for fighting Dandruff is head and shoulders. And then Troy Palmer goes, No, the best defense for for battling dandruff is head and shoulders. That's the best a man can get, Gillette. That's Gill Gillette? I think it's Gillette. When Gillette Razor specifically, maybe? Gillette. Best a man can get. Ro uh, Kimura, what's up? If no season, does that mean we won't see Mookie Betts playing? Dog? Yeah, no, we won't. I mean, we saw him in spring training. <laughs> we saw him in spring training for a tiny bit, but... Yeah, I mean, unless the Dodgers are able to... Because he becomes a free agent. Whenever the close of... If the season gets canceled or whenever the official season closes, he's a free agent, so... Unless the Dodgers re-sign him. Which I'm sure they'll try to. They're traditionally not too keen on giving up assets as much as they did to the uh, Red Sox. So my, my assumption is that they were planning on trying to re-sign him, so. but we'll see. He got a lot of money coming off the books over the next few years, so I don't think that should really be a concern for them. They'll still be able to pay like Bellinger and whatnot. box. Good luck, everybody. We got some Atomic, Leo Tavares. That'll ship. And a Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman card. Nice. Thanks, Nick. All right. Again, Remington with the Royals. And a Pete Alonzo Atomic to 150. That's pretty cool. Mets, Zach Paul with the Mets. Mixer? It says coming soon because it's coming soon. Soon. Robert Pawson, Oakland A's, Ryan Shackleton. Chrome one this time. Uh, 
I think we still have to do a number of those mini breaks to even get that mixer done. So I don't think it's even sold out yet. Well, I, I don't I don't know, Alan, because I'm in the middle of a break. If I knew, I would just give you the specific time, but I don't. I haven't gone through orders yet. I think we have like 70 orders to go through. I don't know if it's even sold out yet. I've been doing this for the last 30 minutes, so I don't have clarification because I don't know myself. <laughs> Jason Dominguez Chrome. That'll be for the Yankees, Ryan. Ryan D with that one. Are those cello breaks sold out for the basketball mixer? We gotta do those first. Ah, they see there's still two on the side, so isn't mixer's not even sold out yet. Next little box right here. We got Alvaro Cejas to two ninety nine. Do I know what a what is? A jolly bee? Like a happy bee? He's jolly? We got El Harris, Montero, orange paper. A restaurant, no. What's their deal? I don't know. Someone mentioned it. Sejas would go to Ben Young in the Cardinals. Is it around here? Yeah. South Bay? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if they have. They have boba there. Oh, uh, River says uh, it's a Filipino fast food fried chicken, spaghetti, mashed potato. Wow. What's like Filipino fried chicken? I don't know. Yeah. What? Well, what do we got with? I don't know. Probably some regional spices. Ken Smith, Yankees autograph, going to uh, Ryan D. Rhino says it's a huge chain in the Philippines. Sean Corbett says Jollibee is great. Check it out. Next box. It was... Childish Gambino name check Jollibee? Wow. Trying to get the Philippines market, huh? That goes to Tariq Scooball. 25 out of 25. And Jason Dominguez, top 100. He's already number 53 on the Bowman Scouts Top 100. Bobby Witt Jr. Paper. Alan says come to Texas for some hole in the wall Mexican food. That's the best. Used to go to school in San Diego, and there were so many. Well, there's a lot, a lot here in LA too, but a lot of hole-in-the-wall Mexican places in San Diego too. Those are some of the best. There's Jason Dominguez. Actually ate a little bit beforehand, so to fuel up for this break. So I am impervious to all the hunger talk, all the food talk. But now I kind of want some Jolly Bee. They serve with gravy to pour on the chicken. Wow. What's the, what does the mascot look like? I'm gonna put the link in the chat. He looks like a G? Wow. Ooh, tamales from the farmer's market. Nice, Alan. That's strong. 
don't even know if any of our farmers market. Are farmers markets back? Nick, are those open again? Oh, in Redondo it is? I don't know if Santa Monica has them back yet. There's Jared Kalanick, big prospect for the M's to 250, purple chrome. Going to Kenneth Sexton with that. Oh, there's the character right here. Let's take a look. Uh, he looks like a Jolly Bee for sure. Of Teddy? Teddy. Who? He's the boyfriend of Hetty? What is, what is, oh, now I have to look at. Is she weird looking? It's 2020, it's 2020, it's okay. Oh. Whoa, Hetty, Hetty Spaghetti, that is. I mean, must be true love. There is Joe Ryan, Tampa Bay Rays. Rich Schmidt with the Rays. T you said the Tulsa's farmers market just reopened. Nice. I don't know when our farmers markets will start opening en masse. Jason Dominguez paper. Nice. Dominguez paper, Ryan D. There's also a heady vacuum cleaner some trademark infringement there possibly We've got a few boxes to go, a handful of boxes to go. We're almost there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. A little over halfway through this break. I've heard of the night market. I think uh, Jason Jaspi has told us about the night market, 626 night market. Never heard of it? I feel like Jason's talked about it. Don't they have like food trucks there too, Gabe? The market at night. <laughs> That's what it is, right? It's exactly how it sounds. I mean, once things open up, we can explore explore all the all these delicious places. Jaspies will just turn into a video food blog. Dominguez paper, another paper for Ryan D. All of these add up, Ryan. Maybe some of these are even gradable. Sell some, grade some, trade some. We got Jonathan India to four ninety-nine. Bobby with Junior Paper. And we've got a Connor Cannon refractor autograph to four ninety-nine. Mark Bassett, San Francisco baseball giants.
Is there a reason they fight in an octagon? There's Bobby Wood Jr. I'm watching a little UFC on the side here. Is there a reason why they fight in an octagon and not a hexagon? Or, or a circle. Coop's going with bird here. The bird is the word for Coop. Nick says he's going with the other guy, Coop. Everybody knows the bird is the word. Sheldon Nussi to four ninety nine paper for Ryan Shackleton. There's Taylor Trammell. We got Braylon Marquez. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome for Remington. Circle, no corners, says Sean Corbett. And Octagon gives you semi-corners to trap people in. Gotcha. Why not a hexagon? Why not a hexagon? Oh, catchy! You have a you have a fried chicken joint up there in Milwaukee. Oh man, when I visit, I'll have to go and enjoy some fried chicken. I do love some good fried chicken. How are your sides? We got some coleslaw up in there. We can do maybe some corn. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll talk to Rory about it. Mind a, I don't mind a good fried chicken. So a hexagon creates two deep corners. The corners are too deep, so they don't. So the octagon is the right shape. Oh, and crinkle cut fries. That's strong. Catchy, you want to draw, drop the uh, the name of your shop here in the chat? For we we got a big we got a big Midwestern audience. Maybe they'll go up there and be like, "Hey, I saw you on Jaspies." That's uh, Jesus Sanchez, four ninety nine. We came by. Mars Cheese Castle. Who was the guy that works there and sent us? I keep. I keep forgetting his name. No, no, John doesn't. No, I feel like it's someone else. But we we had a we had a person who used to break with us, uh, and when we were at the national in Chicago, he had come by and dropped off a bunch of stuff from Mars Cheese Castle. Ooh. A lot of a lot of snacking throughout the day. That was greatly appreciated. Shirt and Apostle. All right, so Catchy is uh, giving us some free advertising to the 50 people watching right now. Golden Chicken in Hales Corners in the Milwaukee area. Zero affiliation with any other Golden Chicken in the area. Got it. Wow. Serving fried chicken in Hales Corners seven days a week. Slow cooked BBQ ribs, your famous fried chicken. You have hand battered cod fillets. Woo! Got some za there. All right, okay. Catering is available. Oh man, open.
open three to eight. All right, all right. I gotta stop looking at this menu. Well, if you're in the Milwaukee area, you know where to go to the corner. I wonder if uh, might have to have catchy some FedEx some uh, some fried chicken to us. Mars Cheese Castle, fried chicken. Got you 100% independent, right? Not like those other guys. Not like those other guys. We support small independent businesses. All right, Jason Dominguez, another paper for Ryan D. And there's a burger bar out by Mars Cheese called Captain Mike's. Oh man, burgers and cheese. This is why I, I couldn't live in Wisconsin. I would, I, I would, I would expand like a balloon. I guess I'd just work out more. You guys remember the old story when uh, in Michael Phelps' heyday, they would talk about like how much food he would eat, like how many calories he would burn training in the pool, and just all sorts, all the crazy food that he would. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'll eat like four large pizzas a day, and have a few burgers, and then eat some salads, and you know, eat an entire like cantaloupe, and. You know, go swimming and burn off 8 million calories and have some more burgers. And Maybe it was the munchies certified saying, yeah, could have been that. Bobby Witt Jr., Chrome for Remington, nice. All of those add up. So, yeah, 28,000 calories burned a day or eight eaten a day. I guess you would burn... A lot of that too, a lot. Ryan S. with the A's gets the chrome Robert Pawson. Rebel has seen YouTube videos of people who eat that much when they're when they're bodybuilding. That's crazy. Another box right here. What's Michael Phelps doing these days? What's he up to? He's just kicking back, smoking weed, you know, and throwing, throwing, throwing gold medals around. There's Cabrian Hayes eating some Subway. Orange for the Pirates. That'll be for Chris DeHart. Counting his money, does he? Does, is Michael Phelps have money? I feel like all those Olympic athletes, like once that sponsorship money dries up, and that's it. There's Damon Jones, Phillies. 
<laughs> Smoking the jazz cabbage. I haven't heard. I've never heard that. Jazz cigarettes. I've heard. The jazz cabbage, though. I like that. The jazz hippie lettuce. The hippie lettuce is one thing I like. I like to say hippie lettuce. The jazz cabbage. My bird went down. Down goes bird. He guides freight boats ashore during foggy nights. Just put a lamp on top of his head. Another uh, Dominguez paper for Ryan and the Yankees. Remember, remember when? Uh, remember during Shark Week when Michael Phelps was supposed to race a shark? It's a week of shark programming on Discovery. Um, Sharknado. That's not on. Dis is that on Discovery? That, that's like TBS. I don't know. There was a bad made-for-TV movie called Sharknado, and then it became a cult hit, and they made like four more of them. It was a very weird movie. It was with Ian Ian Zierig from uh, from Beverly, the old Beverly Hills 90210. Then it had like a ter was Tara Reid in it? Some like '90s bombshell, former bombshell was in it, and then a few other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that person. Yeah. So I think somehow due to a six movies? Wow. Yeah, it was just kind of like it's. I think it's. I mean, it was intentionally supposed to be cheesy, but it, it was weird. Yeah, they, like a there was some weird weather that was happening, and then like a tornado scooped up a bunch of sharks. And there was flooding, and all these like sharks like were now in city streets, and they were really aggressive. More Bobby Witt Jr. for Remington. Things get weird in these hobby jumbo breaks, or these <laughs> Bowman hobby breaks, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a recap at the end. Six, wow. But yeah, Shark Week did a did a thing where Michael Phelps they they, they spun it as Michael Phelps was going to race a shark, but it was really just a computer generated. They had like measured the speed of a shark, and it was just a computer generated shark racing against Michael Phelps in the water. So it was it was lame. They had tracked the speed of a shark. Then they had Michael Phelps swim alongside the path that that shark had once taken. I should have known. I got had, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone's probably laughing. They're like, whoa, Joe, what are you, a kid? You naive? I got, I got got, ladies and gentlemen. I got got. I thought that Michael Phelps was actually going to be in the water with a shark and racing it. I mean, that's, tel that's, that's good television, but I got got. I had. I was fooled. I tuned in all week. You know, Nick Shark Week generally happens during the national. Yeah. So I'm all. I was always. I don't know. People got into sharks. Ooh, there's some orange chrome right there. Flipped that way. So that might be an autograph.
Nick, you won. The other guy won. Bird went down. Bird went down. The bird's a word. And Nick just Nick just bet his bet the Jaspie payroll on it. <laughs> now we now we have like triple the rent money. We bet the Jaspie building rent on it. Yeah. Now we've got rent for the year. Did she turn 20 or did you just forget what how old your wife is? Getting closer to that orange, ladies and gentlemen. There's Jaron Duran to 125. Aqua Chrome for the Red Sox. That'll be for EA. We got Adam Hall to 499. Paper for Raymond and the O's. Another Chrome, Robert Pawson for Ryan Shackleton and the Athletics. It's going to be a Dodger. 19 out of 25, Lionel Ver, uh, Valera. Little Dodger Joe Mojo for Tom Kensington, who won the Dodgers in that jumbo pack break. Nice. Yeah, Sean Corbett is now an official employee of Jaspie's, TJ. So now he has a wrench. He's doing Instagram live breaks for us on Sundays and Mondays and uh, helping us out with the sorting and shipping. He got called up to the big club, the big leagues. Nice Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. So feel free to give Sean a hard time on Instagram Live at Jaspie's Break Sundays and Mondays. Chad Meyer has uh, some information for us. If anybody has any Kobe redemption for a second time, a rep from Panini got back to you on your 2019. Sig Series Kobe Auto Redemption. Their executive team is in the office figuring out how to handle all of them. Interesting. So, so on, on standby? Because I know before he, he passed away that Panini had released a statement on the day of his death. It was a nice statement. They were saying that he was, like just up until a week or two before the crash, he was... He was signing cards and stuff, so yeah. There you go, TJ. Yeah, give him a hard time next time you're in in Sean's on a Sean show night Sundays, Mondays. No, they moved the national Chad to December. I want to say November or December, same location maybe, but. I don't think we're traveling for that. It's pretty much right around the holidays. It's kind of a busy time of year for group breaks. So I don't know how many I don't know how many dealers are going to be there. Yeah, early December. So I don't know how many people are actually going to be there. I don't even know. Is there like a is there even are they doing a break pavilion or anything like that this year? Are there even going to be group breakers there? 
traveling in early December. What's up, Logan? What's going on? So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I get it. They're gonna they they want to salvage as much of the national as possible, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I guess I guess the East Coasters. Yeah, there's still a huge huge collecting market in New York, so that's got to help for those those dealers that are in that area, New York area. But yeah, for us on the West Coast, it's Jack Flaherty, orange paper. West Coast, West Coast, it's nice when we kind of get away in the summer. It's sort of like a summer vacation trip for us, you know, but but early December, right after Thanksgiving, I don't know, it gets, it gets a little tricky that time of year. Gotcha. So the Panini, Chad saying the Panini person is saying that there are no exchanges or points. So I guess somehow they're going to try to redeem those, as much of those as possible. Probably probably a first come, first serve situation. Until they run out. Shame. What a what a weird what a weird time. There's Tristan Lutz to 150. Douglas, uh, are you talking about 1718 Donner's Optic Met Noir? We don't have any more Noir. I think you might be confusing a year or something like that. I don't think we have any 1718 stuff on the site. And no more Noir on the site either. There's Robert Poss and A's, Ryan Shackleton. But, uh,. Here, there's a schedule in the chat right there. We still have to go through some more orders and figure out the rest of the evening. But if it's sold out, we're, we're going to be doing it. That Hunter Bishop Blue Paper goes to the Giants. And Tristan Lutz Brewers goes to Edward. Got that printing plate auto a little bit earlier, which was cool. Oh, there is Noir? Oh. Oh right, right, yeah. Zach Paul's right. Yeah, that was that was like four days ago or so. The videos should be up for everything. So if you if you go back a little bit of time, you'll be able to look up the videos for that. There's a Damon Jones gold, fifty out of fifty, gold autograph for the Phillies. That's gonna go to Steve. Center in that top one there, it's protected. There it is. Nice, nice color in that autograph. There's Jason. I don't remember the number for it, Doug, but if you look at your order confirmations, the break number will be there. And if you go to our homepage, you should be able to search for the video. The YouTube search function isn't great, but you can do that. Or if you can't find it, you can let us know again. We'll, we'll try to dig it up for you. Um, yeah, we can get VIP black boxes, Chad Meyer. Are you saying, can we get any for you? Usually, those black boxes are part of the VIP event, which requires us to buy like a whole pallet of, of product. So this year, since we're not going, although they've done certain promos in the past where you can still buy it, buy that package of stuff and still get national related stuff, but a VIP black box break? What have we done in the past? I think we've just given them away in like a mixer. The ones we've got in the last year or two. Another Chrome Robert Possum for Ryan. We're almost done here, folks. What do we got here? Last bit, I think I saw a little bit of Sky Blue. Mackenzie Gore. 
maybe another parallel before we finish off this break, and I'll do a quick recap too. No, nope, maybe not. Maybe I was just confusing it with a refractor. All right, so thanks, everybody. That was full case. 12 box, pick your team 11, 2020 Bowman Baseball. Here's a quick recap right here. So pretty solid break, some nice colors, some nice Dominguez's and Witt Juniors and Robert Possons popping. We had that nice, there was that Dustin May, that nice on plate autograph for the Brewers. Riffer got that. There's the Corbin Carroll, Bowman Scouts Auto. And some nice color here too, not too shabby here. A lot of orange. That Pete Alonzo was cool. Talent Pipeline Atomic. So all sorts of cool stuff. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We have more Bowman baseball in the store. Still a lot of incredible value in this stuff. So we've got jumbo cases available. Keep checking that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.